Hey, so welcome to another video. My name is Tristan and I post videos about beauty pages, TV shows, entertainment and myself. If you're interested in that, please consider subscribing to the channel and checking out my other videos. As you guys already know, Miss Universe organization is now owned by Miss Anne J under JKN Global Media and I'm so excited for this change, especially at a time like this and one of you guys requested to hear what I thought about it, so I told myself that I'll film this video today. So guys, before I start, I want to say shout out to my friend FJ from Hong Kong. He's the one who requested this video video and he has been way supportive of my channel for a long time now and I appreciate him a lot for that. So guys, I'll just call her Miss and because it's difficult to pronounce her other names, I'm sorry about that. I'm not originally from Asia or from Thailand. And so she's a well-known successful businesswoman who has bought and made successful many TV shows and networks and she just acquired Miss Universe of recent and that's what just made her more famous out of a sudden. Her life journey has not been easy but in the end she was successful and she has appeared on many places including Project Runway in Thailand and she's also close friends with Clint's Bondad. So guys, in her team we have a new creative director Mr. Ton C and he has been on Project One Way before as a mentor and a creative director and also guys, he's also a well-known fashion designer in Thailand. So guys, I'm so excited and anxious to see what they're going to bring but I'm not really too excited because for Miss Universe 2022, it's still going to be produced by IMG slash Endeavor and I think that it makes sense because that already announced everything with the host country and so it's just okay for them to produce the last edition first before the new group takes over. So guys, there was a press conference last month whereby she was officially introduced so I'll just go ahead and see what I think about some key points that are noted from there. Because the headquarters has been moved to Thailand, I'm so happy with this, like seriously. I think that Thai production like in their TV shows and their pageants, I think the production is so amazing and I think that that's what they're going to bring to Miss Universe. Also guys, Thailand is going to be recognized more worldwide. One reason that I'm so happy is because in Miss Universe 2018 that was done in Thailand, it was so awesome. I love the colors, the production, the stage and everything. So I think that for Miss Universe 2023 and 2024, we're going to see something similar to that and I cannot wait. She also introduced the One Universe concept and I think that it's so good. I cannot really say more about this but I want to see it in action like seriously. They also announced that there was going to be a new crown and I'm so happy. I just hope that it's nice because my favorite Miss Universe crown was run from 2017 to 2018 that's the Mikimoto crown. I love that so much and I just hope that this year they bring something better like seriously. For that guys, they said that Miss Universe is now going to be looking for a transformational leader and I think that by this they mean someone who can change and inspire lives. I think it's so good like seriously because I've had different versions of Miss Universe but I cannot say more about this. I just want to wait and see who the first queen that going to speak is going to look like. Then we're going to have examples from there. They also announced that there's going to be a cosmetic brand for Miss Universe. I'm so happy about this. Like seriously, I mean, it would be good for me to use lotions with the face of Miss Universe on it. Like just owned by Miss Universe brand in Geneva. Like seriously, because I'm so obsessed with Miss Universe. I just hope that the products are going to be available worldwide. Like seriously, because it's not easy for us in Cameroon to access some certain products. It was also announced that Miss Universe 20. 2022 and 2023 already have a host country and i think that if i want to guess i think it makes sense that one of them is thailand because like it's the new headquarters so generally i think it would just be good if the headquarters can host and i just want to see the new hosting pattern like seriously because with img the logic was that after every one year usa was a host country so i want to see the new hosting pattern for jkn global media for miss universe they also said there was going to be jets and penthouses for the winners and guys think they never said a jet and a penthouse they said jets and paint houses guys with an air seriously i can imagine the luxury that she's going to feel now like seriously like i wish i could sign up for miss universe right now like seriously i mean you're just going to change their lives forever personally i think that is going to be a big step up from img although i don't know everything that img gave the queens but i just feel like it's going to be something more bigger and more better they also said there'll be a gala event on november 7 with all the national title holders for this year and i think that is so good because for many contestants to actually know themselves like get acquainted before the official arrivals for the competition and i think that is so good like seriously i cannot wait to see i think november 7 that's in a few days to come i cannot wait for that i'm so excited guys yeah, she also made mention of the possibility of a reality show and i think it's not strange like seriously i've seen a reality show in Miss universe vietnam and in other national pageants or other smile competitions and it's just so exciting like seriously i cannot wait to see this show like 
seriously, I think it's going to be so nice. The reason why I say this is because it's going to help us know the contestants more and to just understand them and where they come from. I just hope that it's going to be free and on YouTube, like seriously. So guys, in general, I think everything is going to improve, like seriously. I cannot say more, but I'll just need to wait and see how her first edition in 2023 will look like, if it's going to be a big step up or not. And then I'll tell you guys what I think. So guys, please comment below what you think about my video or what you think about these new changes and what videos you want to see next. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.